Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books July 28th Fellowship That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. 1 John 1, 3 The desire for companionship is God-given, and every need of the human heart he has made provision to satisfy. The word fellowship suggests association or friendship with others, to belong to a group whose interests are in common with ours. It is very important to have human friends, but those who have fellowship with God need never feel alone. If earthly friends are taken from us and the way seems dark, the knowledge that Christ is a constant friend helps us to bear our burden. There is also sweet comradeship in church communion. Sin severed the connection between man and his Creator. Christ came to restore this broken fellowship. He bridged the gulf, and now heaven and earth are reunited. When we feel estranged from God, we are miserable and not at peace with ourselves or our environment. When we are reconciled to God, we desire to help others and soon find we are making friends. Total surrender to Christ gives us a sense of belonging. A little boy on the playground at school was continually fighting with the other boys. He was dressed in clothes much too large for him, his shoes were worn, and his hair unkempt. The principal called him and asked him why he was always quarreling. With pathetic eyes, he looked up at the teacher and said, Can't you see, Professor, I don't belong? Further inquiry revealed that the child had no fixed home but had been passed from grandmother to uncle and aunt, but no one wanted him to stay permanently. The principal and his wife took pity on the boy and opened their home to him. Gradually, the child responded to love. Instead of fighting, he wanted to help. He was continually asking the professor's wife what he could do for her. What a difference it makes to belong. Fellowship with God and man changes lives.